Praise the Lord, Bridgeway Community Church. I said, praise the Lord, Bridgeway Community Church. One more time for the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, Bridgeway Community Church. You can even say praise the Lord right there in your chat as well if you are online. I'm Pastor David Anderson, founding pastor here at Bridgeway Community Church. Today is our State of the Church address. And before we give that message, which is not a normal traditional service, more like a a report on how we're doing in our ministry, ever since we kicked off the year with our theme, Make It Better, back in September, we're going to do something today that's very special. We are going to add two people to the ranks of our clergy, the spiritual leaders and teachers and shepherds of our church here in Columbia, Maryland, Owens Mills, Maryland, and around the world. The first person that I'm going to invite up to the stage in just a moment is a woman who God has used in ministry for many years. Her story and her testimony of how God has delivered her from addiction and brokenness is an amazing story that you'll need to hear sometime if you haven't heard it before. She leads a ministry called Praising Through Recovery. She also leads ministries here, and she helps people who are dealing with addictions right here in our church. She is a mother of three, a grandmother of four, and married to a faithful, awesome dude as well. His name is James. Her name is Ms. Lisa Bryson. Would you please put your hands together for our sister Lisa Bryson. And as Lisa comes to the stage, I'm going to read to you a passage of Scripture, and then I'm going to invite all of our clergy and our our elders and elders' council of women to come up to the stage. Dear Sister Lisa, we are so grateful that you are a part of us. You have already uh, moved so many of us with your life, your ministry, and your story. And this is what the Apostle Paul says to one of his young disciples. He says, until I come. Devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to preaching, and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through a prophetic message when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. You know, that word is just for you. And one of the things we're doing today when we lay hands on Lisa is she will become a licensed minister, a licensed minister of the gospel, to preach the gospel under the covering of our church, but also it's a legal status with the state. She can legally marry and bury, and she is a part of our clergy team. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to ask the elders council and the clergy council, as well as our executive team, our chiefs, to come up on the stage right now as we show you through the picture of this multicultural group of spiritual leaders and show her that she has some back. And so she's not by herself and she will not be left alone as she shepherds you, as she ministers, as she stands in the gap for the gospel ministry. She's a part of a a greater team of spiritual leaders, and she is deployed to serve you in the name of Jesus. And so if y'all will come on over and circle around, we're going to lay hands and we're going to pray over you. And and Gina, I'm going to ask you uh, to be the one to pray, and so we'll get a microphone right here to Elder Councilwoman Gina, and after you pray for her, I will give a covering uh, word of prayer, okay? Let's pray. Oh, we praise you, Father. We thank you for our sweet sister, Lisa. We thank you for calling her this morning, dear Lord. Lord. 
for placing her into your hands, dear Lord, yes, Lord, for continuing to use her to minister to people. And as she goes into this next chapter of her life, dear Father, we pray she feels your anointing like never before, yes, dear Lord. Father, that you give her the words to speak, the resources that she needs, everything she needs to carry out your perfect will for her life, dear God. We pray that she feels your hand with her, before her, behind her, all around her, dear Lord, and that all of the lives that she touches are healed, dear Father, are whole, dear Father, yes, and then becomes vessels for you to use on your behalf as well, dear God. We praise you for her anointing, and we thank you for this day in Jesus' name. And Heavenly Father, hang on, where's her husband? Come on up here, sir. They say behind every great man is a great woman. Behind every great woman is a great man. This is James. Come stand next to your wife. And if y'all will extend a hand from the congregation. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the covering of this man, James. We thank you for his faithfulness like Hosea in this family. We thank you, God, for their children, their grandchildren, Lord, we thank you for how he supports, lifts up his wife continually as she serves in the gospel ministry. So we cover her in the name of Jesus. We anoint him in the name of Jesus, and we commend them to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, put your hands together for Lisa Bryson. In fact, we're going we're gonna to ask you to stand and give you the microphone. We want you to preach for 13 minutes. <laughs> just kidding. Just give a, just give a word, and we're going to uh, present you with a certificate of license. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Bridgeway. Praise the Lord. Oh, I just thank God for all that he has done, uh, not just in my life, but the lives of these amazing leaders. Um, to have my back. Y'all really got my back. <laughs> and just so very grateful to God and what he um, is doing. And um, so I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be on my lips. And I pray that I will be nothing but a great leader, a great student uh, to Bridgeway. But more than anything, I pray that I will be a great representation of the light of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I thank God for you all. Pastor, thank you so much. It means the world to me to have people that not only believe in the God in me, but that believe in me. And I thank you for this opportunity, and I thank my amazing husband who has always yes. stood by my side. Yes, yes. The true light of Jesus Christ. So thank we you. have a beautiful uh, certificate of license. I'm going to ask Tracy Tiernan to come read it. And if y'all will bring that up now, we've got some goodness for you here. Look at this. Come on and give that to her. She's going to look so good in that. Hold nose. Look at that. They ain't for you, James. All right. And Tracy, would you, um, you can hold that up there, uh, Jonathan. And Tracy, just come to the front and read that as we present this from one minister to another. Certificate of license from Bridgeway Community Church. This certificate affirms that Lisa Bryson, who has given evidence that God has called her into the gospel ministry, was licensed to serve the Church of Christ as she may have opportunity and to exercise her gifts in the work of the ministry by Bridgeway Community Church on the 29th day of January 2023. Yay. Give her a hand, y'all. Now listen, you are now a part of the clergy, and you are a licensed minister, but we also have someone we need to ordain, and that is somebody who's about to become a pastor. So now that you're a part of the clergy, you'll have his back. So what I want you to do is, Jonathan, if you'll take her flowers and the certificate down, and if you'll just stand back here, you'll be a part of this team, and I'm going to give you this, Ronald, to hold on. And now what I want to do is 